Well, welcome back to Gardener's Cottage here in the, the heart of Blakeney on the North Norfolk coast. We're going to give you a little tour around this cottage. It's the middle of May now. We've just come over to set the cottage up because she's actually let from this afternoon with guests coming in. I'm hoping they're going to enjoy their stay. We've got a good weather forecast coming up for this particular half term here in the UK. Come in through the front door at Gardeners and you're greeted by the stairs going up to the first floor, which we will take you up to in just one minute. But let's have a quick look around the downstairs of this cottage and see what facilities are here to greet you. Come round to your left and you're straight into the main or principal downstairs entertaining space here at Gardeners. This is a massive 35 foot long room with that huge great entertaining table as the centrepiece. Seats up to uh, 14 guests quite comfortably. This room has aspects over the back garden with those dual French windows allowing you access directly into the garden during the summer months. And then just behind me is the third window door into this lovely little secluded and uh, sun trap patio area in the evenings. This room is fitted out with some fantastic vintage and antique blue and white china for you to enjoy while you're here. We do encourage you to do so. We've got lead crystal, old fashioned champagne goblets and some beautiful ironstone transferware for you to enjoy and utilize while you're staying with us. There's another big TV hidden in this old cabinet for you to watch in the evenings. And we've got a choice of two refrigerators for you to use because we know guests very often arrange for big food deliveries when you're self-catering away on holiday. So you're not going to be cramped for space with this great big Arga cream refrigerator and freezer on the base. And behind me, if you notice when we were coming in, is the for show Smeg Powder Blue fridge freezer. More conveniently positioned, but it does give you the options to have a big food delivery and not struggle with where to put stuff. In addition to those two, we've also provided you with a wine fridge to keep the white wines and uh, other drinks on uh, tap throughout your stay with us. The cream arga allows you to cook for multiple guests quite easily. And in the central island, you've got dishwasher, double butler sink and loads and loads of storage. We've also equipped this cottage with just about everything you could possibly want if you're self-catering, including a whole range of baking uh, equipment. So I think you'll find everything you could possibly think you need here. And if you're a big coffee fan, new for this season is uh, an option of coffee makers, including a uh, pod machine and a real coffee espresso maker. So everything you could possibly want. Now behind me, in addition to this space, we've also got a further reception area with three large sofas, dual aspect looking over the gardens and uh, just look at that lovely thatched cottage in the distance behind the roses and honeysuckles that surround you here in the cottage. This room's been set up really to offer guests the opportunity to come and just relax in the evening or if the kids need to get away and just have a little bit of quiet time watching some telly, choice of family friendly DVDs and access through uh, the internet onto all the major commercial and uh, Netflix and Amazon Prime, etc. So do bring your logins if you're coming to stay with us and uh, want to be able to access those. I'm coming around in a full circle now down this corridor and then instead of going left, hanging a right into one of the first of the two downstairs bedrooms here at Gardner's. King size bed, painted oak frame, overlooking French windows out onto that beautiful courtyard with roses, wisteria and honeysuckles again. Lovely in the morning to be able to throw these doors open and just let the uh, morning air in. Just behind me is a little small wardrobe area, twin bed size with lamps and then an additional seating area here for guests to enjoy. Again in this cabinet there's a hidden TV if you wish to come through here and again have a little bit of quiet time or watch a specific cereal you're in the middle of and don't want to miss and don't want to disturb the rest of the party then this offers that facility as well. Now a little bit of a quirky surprise here off this bedroom is the utility room area but we didn't want to put these utilities in the main entertaining kitchen 
as if they're running. They can be quite disturbing if you're in the middle of a party or entertaining or having a meal. So we've popped them into this room. It's got a butler's sink in there as well. Dishwasher is in the kitchen, but here you've got the tumble dryer and washing machine. And we've also provided some airers. There's uh, boot rack storage here and loads and loads of high chairs and baby equipment. Uh, if you do need additional equipment, you can either book it through the Blakeney Cottage Company, but we do provide high chairs and I think there's at least one travel cot here available for you. This uh, little room again has access through this farmhouse door back onto that courtyard. And there's this sort of evening seating area. It's a real sun trap, this little courtyard in the evenings, uh, particularly in summer. It's a lovely shady, cool area of the rest of the garden is a little on the warm side for you. Let's make our way back out through this bedroom now. And I'm going to show you the downstairs bathroom here next, which is just tucked off to our right in this location. This is the sort of principal downstairs loo, if you like, for the cottage and also the, uh, the bath for this bedroom with a sink, mirror and a high level toilet with a bathroom themed uh, toilet seat. I don't know how you quite what do you call those? Starfish? Starfish and shells? It's certainly coastal, isn't it? Do get a few comments about that. Not really the sort of uh, vintage vibe, but certainly seasidey. And this room's more seasidey themed than most of the rest with the seals and the uh, various bits we've picked up off the beach and coast walking on uh, the Clyde beaches over the years. One more bedroom to show you here, and this is my favourite one downstairs. The four poster bedroom again favorite for grandma and grandpa staying with their family large double period bed with the four poster turned supports and off this room you've also got the facilities of a ensuite shower large walk-in corner shower and a lovely cast iron footed bath there this Bedroom and bathrooms themed again on a coastal theme. This one's with all the period vintage Peter Scott prints in it. Porthole mirrors, pictures of the coast and boats. Again, reminding you that although you're in a garden cottage, this is very much a seaside getaway holiday. So that's the downstairs done at Gardeners. Let's take you up this flight of stairs and show you the remaining three bedrooms upstairs next. Well, as you come up the uh, flight of wooden painted stairs, you come onto this little landing at the top with this huge great dresser base and another piece of vintage blue and white china. It's a little seating area just on the top here and uh, through this little window you get a little view down into the neighbouring cottage gardens and that's Blakeney High Street, the uh, creamy apricot painted uh, run of houses just beyond the residence car park there so you're right in the heart of Blakeney here now let's come into the principal bedroom I'll just pop the lights on for you single bed just as you walk in on the left big picture window looking down towards the coast and the north I've got a little aspect certain times of year you can just get a snippet of the sea in the distance over the cottage beyond us. That one's called the Birches. There's that car park again, looking back down towards the high street. This is what we call the French bedroom because of that fantastic upholstered antique French bed, which is extremely comfortable. That's my favourite if we are staying here ourselves. Picture on the wall is a oil that always reminds me of French pavement or cafe life. Don't think it's by anybody famous, but uh, it's a lovely little old period piece that we picked up somewhere along the line. And a lot of gardeners is decorated along these sort of themes of uh, vintage and antique collecting, inspired by our uh, obsession with antiques. Off this bedroom is an ensuite bath and shower room. We've got a walk in shower in the corner with a rain shower. Again, coastal themed pictures and a low level toilet. Wood panelling all around gives this bathroom some real character and again with a few little vintage finds that Kate's spread around the place. I particularly love this mirror. Gorgeous detailing on it. Just look at that lovely little piece and again nautically themed 
Georgian prints or lithographs. So a family style bedroom with an option to have a child sleep in with you, particularly on the first night. Away they can be a little nervous in a strange house, so it does give you the option just to get them settled in. Along the corridor past the stairs, we have then got the shared bathroom for this level with a low level bath, shower screen and shower above it. This could be used for showering for the remaining two bedrooms and behind the door is a sink, heated towel rail and all the bathrooms here have underfloor heating. This little bedroom overlooks the back garden, it's a real sunny aspect, a lovely little room this, really cosy. Not overlooked at all here at the back, just look at that, it's very green and lush, looking down onto the garden patio area. Again, not in full sun this morning, but hopefully later the forecast for this week is very, very good. Double bed with some vintage chintz fabrics, mirrors on the wall, and another single bed just tucked in under the eaves, again giving you the option for two adults and a young child to sleep in here or to bring a travel cot through. Final bedroom here and again absolutely massive painted oak bed frame here. That mattress top is around three feet off the ground. It's a fantastic piece of architectural design this. Two bedsides either side, a nice wooden trunk in the corner. Twin dormer windows overlooking the garden and the courtyard. And again, this bedroom's got two additional single beds tucked into the eaves, allowing this to be used as a family room. So that really concludes our tour today of Gardener's Cottage. I've given you some little snippets of the garden and the facilities we've got here, looking down into that little secluded courtyard that's just tucked in behind a brick and flint wall behind the car park beyond lovely place to sit in the evenings and they've all got exterior lighting on switches from the house so that you can enjoy an evening's drink on the patio after a day out enjoying the many delights of staying here on the North Norfolk coast. Thanks for watching.